is in front of us you can see we have several previously consumed dogfish head crab brewery beers and a fresh one in front of us as you know they're out of milton delaware us of a yay yay so you know what time it is it's time for dj to go local that's right guys we're going local yet again with another dogfish head crab brewery beer today we have the 2016 vintage of their worldwide stout the last time I reviewed this, it was with Johnny the Sun Drinker, and we reviewed a big ass growler of their 2007 vintage. That beer was awesome, it rocked the house. Now, like this beer, that beer was and is, and a Russian Imperial Stout is a rotating serving. This, like that one, is clocking in at 18% ABV and 70 IBUs. Now, they don't tell you much else about this beer except that they use like a fucking truckload of malt to make it. And because of that, on their website, you'll see like statements that have ranged between 15 and 20% ABV. That's because it's such a big beer, and you kind of never know when you're going to get it. That is also why they don't put the like ABV statement on the label because they get a varying amount. And by law, if you're going to get a varying amount, you can't do it. So, you know what? Enough flapping my gums. As you can see, I'm into the big, you know, green capped and high ABV dogfish head beers and dogfish head because they make some awesome stuff great brewery so let's pop the top on this bad boy get in the snap top for review what that's right 1001 we're keeping it epic you saw the westy review of 1000 we're going epic for 1001 hell yes time to pop the top boom big hiss get it in the glass and tell you what's up with the worldwide south 2016 vintage obsessively collectible crown of course so get it in the snap top mm-mm-mm we're going to take a big one to the dome solo tonight. <laughs> Why not, right? It's Beer Review 1001. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's up with the appearance. It is totally black. No glints of red, nothing coming through this beer. It's a solid wall of black. We have a one finger, super tightly packed puck of sort of khaki, sort of brown kind of colored bubbles when I swirl it. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get some nice glass lacing. And there's tons and tons of alcohol curtains streaming all along the inside of this glass. Take a look at that lovely midnight in a glass. It looks great, but you know what? It's got to taste good, too. So let's see what's up with the aroma. Big roastiness. Now, <clears throat> the other one with that Johnny and I reviewed in 2007, there's a lot of dark fruits on this. This is big roast and coffee forward first out of the gate. Dark, dark chocolate, burnt brown sugar, raisins. Caramel. Mm, almost like a graham cracker aroma in some ways. A hint of cinnamon. Some of these really big, like, Imperial Stouts, I get a hint of cinnamon out of the aroma, too. It's weird. I don't know if that's something with the malt that gets, you know, darkly roasted and they, you know, kettle caramelize and all that. But I get a little bit of, like, cinnamon out of this. Maybe, maybe some earthy hop. On time recording, this beer has about four months on it. Mm, there's not a hint of alcohol, by the way, on this 18 percenter, which is freaking scary. You know what? Smells damn good. I'm ready to dive in. Cheers! Mmm. That is damn good. Mmm. Right up at the front, big roast like a roast freight train. After that, chocolate, big dark chocolate. Coffee, like dark roasted coffee, a lot of dark, dark flavors. Now, it's 18%. I get warm and going down my chest for sure. In the 2007, after it had cellared, I don't remember getting that, but man, big, big roast flavor. I don't get alcohol, like phenolic, boozy taste, but I get that warming in the chest, almost like I'm taking a shot of liquor, which is kind of what I'm doing, because 18 times 2 is what, 36? So this is like a liqueur strength, so like malt liqueur. Maybe this is what real malt liqueur is. But man, big, big roasty, dark chocolate, layers of dark roast and chocolate and fudge as well. Burnt brown sugar for sure. That cinnamon aroma, I was, I'm actually like kind of getting in the taste. Super smooth. Actually, it's um, it's not a real gloopy, thick body. It's kind of, I guess, kind of like a medium full sort of body. But man, this is all about the roast, all about the dark chocolate and dark coffee, burnt brown sugar, all those dark flavors, maybe a bit of molasses and cinnamon as well. But 
really, really tasty beer. It's definitely a sipper. I'm telling you, when you drink this, it's like, woo, flame on, going down the chest. Not super hot, but like you've done a shot. So, what do we grade a beer like this? Well, rate beer gives it 100. Bang. 90, you know, A, A plus. Don't go any further. Beer Advocate's giving this 94. Okay? And Untapped is giving this 4.341 caps. Okay. So that's their high, really high A, I guess like really super high A, divert, getting into that A plus territory. Um, when Johnny and I had this last, which is the 2007 vintage seller version, um, and I think that beer had nearly 10 years, or no, what would happen with it? It had like eight years on it, I think, when we drank that, maybe seven, uh, and it was delicious. We both gave it 98, which is my A plus range. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go 96. 596 with this somewhere around there 95 96 it's a super tasty beer for a big goliath of a beer it drinks awesome and it tastes awesome i'm really psyched to see what the oak aged um vanilla pod matured or aged version of this is going to be when they come out with it that's going to be really tasty and i'll definitely be on trying that but man as it stands this is a definitely an a and I think when the sellers, this will be an A-plus beer, just like it was the 2007 version. So, have you had Dogfish and Craft Breweries worldwide south of any vintage? It could be 2016. You know, they didn't make it in 2015. Um, any of the other years, if you got one of your seller, you just had it, you want to tell me about it, let me know, because I like to quit Broco and the back and forth. I also like when you think globally drink locally, that's right, and support the craft beer movement. Damn, this beer made my voice better. Beer is awesome. It's a cure-all. Freaking medicine. Ah, self-medication maybe. Anyway, oh, I'm digressing. Oh, it's also really cool mm -hmm. when you, you know, after you've done so that supporting the craft beer movement thing, when you rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us, and smash that like button because that, along ah, with only one bottle, definitely only one bottle of Dogfish Head Craft Brewers Worldwide South 2016, that it definitely puts my whew, big beer happy face on. So... To the next DJ's brew tube. I'm gonna have one more sip with you here. Mm. Cheers to that, and you know what's coming. That's right, you're ready for it by now. A big loco drinking. Pizza!